Well, just hang on to that, apparently. I would like to read things before you just shove them in your butt. Alright, Conrad. Yo, Freebies, what is going on? Welcome back to Man of Medan. We got episode 3 today. Uh, today, in episode 3, we just pulled up to the freighter, the old World War II freighter from the, the beginning of the game. Um, and we got these, the three people that have kidnapped us in sorts, uh, making us go there. Don't know what's going on with Brad yet, but we hope he's okay, so let's get into it. <laughs> The old haunted ship. Been in World War II freighter. La porte! Vite! La porte! Open the door! Oh good, there's a ladder outside for us to quickly climb up on and go inside. I'm so excited. Junior, you retire la tête à l'image. I would not be able to do that. You gotta make a jump. I got like two inches at most. I'm assuming the distributor cap uh, makes a boat do things like go. Go. So that's old. Sir. We got Conrad. I remember him. Fliss is the the boat. Or, uh, no, that's... Oh, what is her name? I always want to say Rebecca, and I know it's not Rebecca. Julia. Julia. Julia, Alex, Brad, Conrad, and Fliss. That's the five. That's five. I'm, I'm still doing all right remembering this. Uh, nope. No thanks. Oh. You guys ever see the movie Ghost Ship? I'm getting a lot of vibes of that with this. Very underrated movie. Very, very solid, I think, personally, anyway. The ship is huge. Oh, I actually control Conrad. Oh, why don't I have shoes? Shoes would be very helpful in a moment like this. What's this little box? Let me touch, touch this. What's this? Does that say rad? Read. It's read. Hey! You son of a bitch! God damn it. God damn it, Danny. Why would you do that? I just wanted to look at the clipboard. This whole place is a floating death trap. Yeah, it sure seems that way, huh? Hey, hey! Okay, okay, calm down, Junior. They call you Junior because you're the little one. <laughs> I still want to know, where is Brad? We had that premonition of him, like, waking up in the room or getting up in the room. But we have not seen Brad since. Oh, J Julia just randomly appeared there? Okay. That's a body. Why did it make me jump twice? Why twice? Is this a picture? I did not sign up for a trip to Creek Town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. Mask of Madness? Why can't I actually look at that? That's a picture, is it not? Go in the door. There's a cross. Is that the cross from the dude that was holding it out at the very beginning of the game? I do like that it, like, shows you glimmers and stuff, stuff you can look at. So I'm trying to keep an eye open for those as well. What the hell do these dickheads want with us? Good thing to say when they're, like, right by you. Are you going to prevent me from going over there and looking at stuff? Get back! Oh my god! You guys really are forcing me, like, one way, one direction. 
Nothing in the lockers, okay. Still loving that I don't have shoes on. Oh shit! Talk about tetanus. Tetanus is a thing, it's very real, especially in an old rusty ship. What's this? Internal memorandum? Oh, just hang on to that, apparently. I would like to read things before you just shove them in your butt. Alright, Conrad. Okay, all of you, into the room. Into the room, good, fantastic. And, oh, good, you locked it. How does the lock still work? Hey, it's piss black in here. Give us the light. Oh, at least they're kind of nice. Thanks. Still brought us in a ship and put us in a room where we can't see anything that we don't know on a ship with stuff going on and dead bodies. I mean, a whole lot of it apparently we don't know from the character's perspective. What the hell is this fucking place? Happen in an abandoned ship, god damn it. Those meatheads seem spooked. Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think the ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. Ooh. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Is Brad gonna be like the second they let their guard down? We gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. The underdog hero in this? I'm hurt too bad. It's dangerous here. Yeah, man. This here. whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> You're not Bill wearing shoes. To escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. It's gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. Hmm. What's a distributor so, cap? Because I don't exactly okay, know. Okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. It makes the engine work. I don't know. It, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're going to find on this floating coffin, we got to take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever, but I... He did say that. I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so... Yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... In a really mm, long, long your way. Your apology is kind of accepted. Cool. Cool. Search room, get out of the room. Okay, okay, okay. Newspaper article. What happened here? What is this from? Worst gangland killing of 1947. Oh, American Overseas Gangland Ling of 1947. Really, you can't even like I can I can make that out. It says worst gangland killing of so, 1947. Archaeologists missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing. The Zagros Mountains. Yeah. Yeah. Bill for all these uh, extras. Yeah. Kidnapping 750 mm. AM. Extra time 350 an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering. Found a vent. I am now. You guys have found a vent. I should have done that because that's progressing the story forward. I probably should have looked around a little more. I'm gonna look around while he he touches that. Touch that all he wants. Give me a picture. Is that a picture? Those look like pictures. What do you think this ship was? I'm gonna see if I can get it off. Oh, you're gonna get it off, alright. 
Miss J. Rivera, apartment 2, 275 Lockwood Drive, Crescent Springs, Cincinnati, Kentucky, 41027. Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping Alex, into your arms. I'm Three so months. Scared. I've been on some shore leave with the guys. Had a few beers, but don't worry. I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. How's work? I hope that that boss of, I hope that boss of yours is leaving you I'll alone. I know you can take care of yourself, and I feel helpless being so far away, and I want to keep you Great. safe. Great. Of all the places I'm going to die on... I got a lot of time to think. Ghost ship. While I'm guarding the cargo holds, it's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have been see have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe too. I will be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic, and we can be married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. I love you so much, Miller X. Is that X supposed to be like a kiss, like XOXO? Glasses. Real, real creepy. Just glasses. They are just glasses. Literally just glasses. That drink, though, that's there, that's that's a little more disgusting and, and worrisome. Kind of like your feet with no shoes on them. Oh, is this another I wonder picture? why this was ripped off. Ship mascot. Oh, yeah, that's real interesting. This plate here is all gone. And the scratches. And the puppy. How come that wasn't a pair uh, pre premonition? That's the word. Okay, I think we have looked at everything we can look at. Can get it open. Hey. Come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Maybe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vent like this would go. Mm, it can't Wherever be worse. It, it can't be worse than here. Well, well we like... smash through this wall. Good. Oh, yeah, sure. Big man on campus. If there's something so roaming around out there, ghost. This is going to be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. Hmm. Barricade. Definitely think barricade is the answer. Hmm. Hey, hey. Push the button. Opens in, so they won't be able to oh, fall yeah. in. Yep. They said they could just open the door and open the table, but forget that the door opens in. Hey! What the hell? Oh. Sorry, Fliss. I didn't know. Oh, she's also not wearing shoes. Julia broke off from everyone else. There's Conrad and Alex. Ugh, I didn't want to leave Fliss there. Son of a bitch. Safe now? Be quiet. We need to keep going. You just... No, fuck that. We have to go back for Fliss. I'm the reason she got snagged. No way. Yep. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. I thought she would also go. I didn't know I was only controlling the destiny right. of Conrad. God damn it. Okay. What's in this room? Ooh, 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 ooh. Is this the clipboard that fell before? FAQ, all ship personnel, extra guard duty regulations. Due to the special security precautions on this mission, additional procedures must be adopted by soldiers on guard duty. Double guard duty on all doors and on all watches. No talking, no playing of games, no smoking, no alcohol, no gambling. Guard personnel found breaking any of these regulations will be met with the sternest of punishments up to and including court martial by order of Captain Ford. Guys, nobody is allowed into 3A. Seriously, nobody. What's in 3A? Um... Can we can we take a moment to talk about that? What's in 3A? I would really like to know what's in 3A. 
Oh, and you guys just really freaking left me. Awesome. I want to adventure. Look for premonitions. You guys are just walking out on me. You guys saw that sailor girl, right? I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish and leave all of their stuff behind? It doesn't add up. Okay. Where's the you are here arrow? Out of bounds, cargo hold three. Hmm. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It, it's just as fine as that sailor girl I saw when I walked through the doorway and they left me. What's in this room? What's in here? Oh, is this... This is a bathroom? Conrad, can you do me a favor and please find some stinking shoes? Anybody gotta take a poop while we're here? Oh, hey, look. The letter. Dear Ailes. Eileen, Eileen Reed. Dear Ailes. I'm finally coming home. And this is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific and I'll be back to you and the girls. I can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They gonna need, they gonna see Daddy real soon and he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than in Oklahoma summer out here on land and there's no escape from it. I've been alright because I got the, your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably for the best because sometimes the others steal them to read and don't like them, and I don't like them reading our letters. I know it really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we gotta stow away. Our ops guys are far too slick now the war is over. I bet they'll edit this bit out, but it shows what a place can do to a guy. Gotta go for now, honey. There's some commotion outside. That usually means I'm about to be real busy for a while. Already again soon. Robert. Spooky. Now the two we were at the beginning of the game, the very, very beginning, we were Charlie and Joe, I believe. So, so far, Robert and... The other one. Um, we've not seen letters from them yet. Okay, I'm gonna go because I don't like this. God, I wonder if Fliss is okay. Me too. She's a tough cookie. What are they doing to her? Jay, you're gonna drive yourself crazy just hoping for the best. Okay. You hear that? If by that you mean that it's a terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. I know you did. This place is fucking massive. Mm-hmm. Freighter ships usually are. Freighter ships usually are. Hey, it's Alex. Finally, we see you again. Hey, bud. So, I'm trying to. I'm trying to find clues. As many clues as I can to help me keep these guys alive. June 19th, I identified problem areas with structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of cargo hold 1. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. June 20th, I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead lead to the solders, which has stopped the equipment shorting out and should slow down the growth. June 21st, I conducted a thorough weekly engine room inspection of fuel oil and fluid, which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. I have reminded staff in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant with their hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there is any loss of pressure. The ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm which began shortly after midnight. The lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical arcing traveling through hoisting cables aloft deck 
which has left damage. The grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. Uh, <laughs> I've received reports that the main problems caused by the storm are with electrical equipment at the moment. It's likely the tin whiskers haven't helped matters. Despite the rough sea, there have been no reports of any structural damage. However, I'll have to work through the night to make a full damage assessment. That's it. I believe that's it. Okay, so electrical damage through uh, thunder, lightning, lightning, um, traveling through the ship. I thought that was a ghost at first in this room. But it's just Alex. Can I get like a gun at all here? Um, this thing is shiny. There we go. Is that a tooth? What is that? Is that a mouse head? I think that's a mouse skull. That very much looks like a mouse skull. Interesting. Why on earth would you have a mouse skull? Another journal. Doing real good at this investigating. Oh, this is a lot. Thursday, 12. The skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole goddamn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet the ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks, Wilson and Anderson, right after we sailed. But Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick, and he it's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with a feller who had helped load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. Uh, B, he said... There was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holds just right. Real precise. Not the treatment you get if you were an old grunt. Any old grunt. It got me thinking, who could it be in those boxes? Part of the 13th. Booze was a bum loss. Perez said he felt drunk after four cups. But I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Perez uh, said they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted. Meeting up later down on 6 to check it out. Saturday 14. I uh, just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes. Gonna fi go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can help, even help me get in to take a look. It's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. Um, I can't. Why can't I? I Alright, I guess, I guess that's it. Why would it not let me see the other pages let me let me i want to see the other pages my kind sir open the book yep there you go there you go there's definitely other pages he's ready to flip and there's a thing there Okay, I'm sure there's other pages, uh, but it's not letting me view them for some reason, so we're, we're not going to waste any more time on that. Saw the rat skull. God, this place is the worst. Hey, are there some shoes? Uh oh, another premonition. Olsen kills Alex. Oh no. Okay, well, we gotta keep Alex safe then. Don't let Alex get beat up by Olsen. That's the plan. That is the plan. I really wish Conrad here would get some goddamn shoes on. Hey, yo, Alex, where'd you go? Oh, you're right here, okay. Alex, don't go out of my sight. I don't like those little noises. Uh oh, turn your flashlight off, idiot. What's 
It's gonna be real quiet and really echoey. So like any movement you do probably echoes and makes a lot of noise. <gasps> it's the distributor cap. We need that. Sledgehammer. I feel like that thing changed locations. It was probably just a. See, now it's back at the edge of the box. I think it's safe to grab it. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. Could be a trap. That's his damn. There you go. Not really such a good idea, huh? Yeah, man. Not worth it. Hmm. For all they know, we're locked in a room. Well, no, they don't. They know we got out. At least Junior knows we got out. Why does this guy have blood on him? Okay. Qui est là? Je vous ai entendu. Qui est là? Was it not Junior that called Olsen? <clears throat> oh, Fliss. Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Poor Fliss. We're gonna follow them. Don't let them out of your sight. At least they have guns and they can kind of protect her from the other world. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. Let's hope it's faster. I got this. I'm really surprised like the hinges and locks and everything work fine yet. Let's find a way off the ship, find the others. What do you mean the others? It's literally just Fliss. It's literally just Fliss we need to find, and then Brad's somewhere on the boat. We know that. We know Brad is still on our boat. The... Um... Dawn of Milan? That's it. Right? The Dawn of Milan? The, the Dinghy of Milan? Milan? What was that? You heard that? Maybe we can ask for... Not funny. We're not even moving, Conrad. You shut your mouth. Jesus. I'm so glad that I am Alex right now. That, that must mean we're coming up to the point of... That premonition I just saw. What is with this place? I'm telling you, we had an iceberg. We're going down. Oh my god, shut up. The boat isn't even moving, Conrad. Oh my god. That's one thing I kind of I'm getting a little frustrated with with this before. game is how uh, precise you have to be to walk through door frames. So. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. We, we have not cool. been here. <laughs> oh my god, I hate it. There's going to be something in here. Are they gonna do the Intel Dawn thing where like a possum or raccoon pops up? Yep. Jesus. God. Alex? What is it? Mm, come look. Ugh. See for yourself. Ugh. Not a clue what it is. That looks disgusting though. No idea what it is. Looks fresh ish. Maybe that's where Brad is. No, you can't think like that. We need Brad alive. What's this? Gumbo? Ugh. Hard pass. Toujours, mademoiselle. As if you know your way around the kitchen. Hard pass on hey, that baby. too. Once we settle down, I will be your personal chef de cuisine. Chef de cuisine? Okay, you've made enough very bad jokes. You are not helping us get out of here. Even Conrad has been more helpful than you have so far, Alex. Hey, what is this place? 
I'm thinking we gotta go through here. It's the cafeteria. Oh, we got another picture. What's this? What's this a premonition of? No, not Brad. Brad getting stabbed by a ghostly ghost thing? Okay. Okay, so Brad gets stabbed. We still haven't even- ah! What? What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you- I mean, did you hear anything? I heard you scream like a goddamn I idiot. I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. You have to be quiet. It's probably just rats. rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. So shush. Don't fucking laugh at me. Shush. Please. I wasn't laughing at you. All right, let's get that straight right away. All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool, Jay. Have we? It's all we the same. It's all similar. Uh-oh. What was that? What was that about? Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? Um... I'll just, I'll just say nothing. Uh, Alex. Paradigm of comfort and assurance. Thanks. Listen, sure, it's freaky it's and it's problem. disgusting and it's a little depraved, but they are just a bunch of dead bodies and I'm sure they are going to stay dead. We can only hope as much. Hey, Brian Carter. We got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan A. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. We got a secret. Do all of them give me secrets? What are you doing? No, no, don't. Two bodies. Is this even human? Look at this. It's insane. Is it even human? I mean, why would you it open it though, human? Alex? What's the deal with this place? Of course, I'm gonna do things that, that I'm not supposed to. Okay, leave. But you gave now. me the option to, Alex. Leave, leave, leave. Okay, just two more caskets to check. Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. That's it. Yes! Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there. And those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. That was kind of an assholeish thing to say from Conrad. Kind of an asshole thing to Got say. Some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. Interesting. How about we check out this matter? little chapel? Oh, don't, no, don't do this. Oh, it's a mouse. <gasps> what oh, is that a mouse? What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Oh. Can we just get out of here? They didn't see the face? Okay, uh, we gotta keep Alex safe. Keep Alex safe. Conrad, you're in the frickin' way, dude. Yeah, let's go on and get the hell out of here. Come on, guys. You guys gotta keep moving. I don't like being at the back end of this. Why so spick and span? Hmm. That's real curious. Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Wait, wait, wait. It was it was a two two headed thing before. Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? 
Oh my god! I know I need to sneeze. Jesus. Where the hell is Conrad? Conrad? Maybe just get him some air. Conrad! What the hell? Okay. What is this? Why is every clipboard upside down? Just let me see it, please. Uh, you're not gonna flip it? Okay. Why is it there? Why can't I pick that up if you're not gonna flip it over and look at it? What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. Hmm. Yeah, it does look like he died of fright. There was a couple we saw at the beginning of the game that looked like they got scared of something and had a heart attack. There's gotta be a, a picture, a premonition picture somewhere, a painting. Painting, that's what they're called. That's what those pictures are called. Paintings. Is there other stuff? Oh, no, that's... That's the dude again. Oh, there's another room. I don't want to go in there by myself, but... Okay. It's just a bathroom. What is this? Drugs? Yes, please. I could use all Conrad, the drugs right take now. Take a couple of these. Hey, where do you go? Uh, looking for a second opinion. Great, you guys lost Conrad now. You guys are just so fantastic. I appreciate everything you guys are doing right now. So truly. Yeah, what's in this room? Oh my god. Doors are going to be the death of me in this game. Connie? Connie! How did Conrad just disappear? Connie, where the fuck are you? It's good. Fliss is on her own with the guys. Conrad's on his own by Where's himself. Conrad? Brad is Some somewhere. Shout if I want. Connie! Well, where the hell did you go? Probably not too smart if you do. Oh, that's Olsen. That's gonna do it for episode three. We managed to break everybody apart going real, real well uh we got we got alex and julia are to, like together they're the only ones actually together from the group brad is somewhere probably on the boat still i don't know i we haven't seen brad since he was throwing up uh over the side of the boat with the the beer in the seasickness um conrad just off by himself now i i don't know how or when we lost him and fliss is stuck with the three guys um and then Olsen there with the sledgehammer peeking out and peering into uh, Alex and Julia and seeing what they are doing. I'm curious to see what happens next in this. I'm so excited for episode four of this. Make sure if you guys are enjoying this and, and anticipating and excited to see what happens in this playthrough, uh, make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Ring the bell to get notified of when the next episodes are coming out instantly so you can jump on, watch it right away. And not miss a second of it. Also, other than that, we do have the Patreon page going to help me upgrade uh, some stuff. I realized while playing this game, um, my computer is not not too happy with me playing this and recording at the same time. Um, so if you guys do join the Patreon page, it is very greatly appreciated. And all, those, all that will go towards upgrading my stuff. Um, so I can do this without hesitation or worry of exploding my PC. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I will see you guys all in episode four. Make sure you guys be good, be safe.
love you all. Thank you so very much again. Bye!